Good morning chaps, welcome along to a fine Tuesday. So uh, you've caught me again doing jobs and not picking up the camera. So this morning, before I came to work, I watched Homebrew Chris's video of the meetup. Without a doubt, uh, it's gonna be the best video that we're gonna find on YouTube about the meet. So if you wanna watch a good uh, bit of footage and a good edit as well, look on yesterday's vlog and at the bottom there's a link to Homebrew Chris's video there. Uh, and then also somebody mentioned on the comments something that I also noticed during the edit and that is that uh, I put the manhole cover in the ladies toilets on upside down or the wrong way around at the very least which yeah has set my OCD off as well so we're just shooting across to sort that out now hello fire escapes open as well bud so uh, let's just go in the ladders and have a ah! look. Ah, <laughs> you know, Jock, you didn't make me jump at all. <laughs> Fire escape's open. Upstairs. Did you open up both? Yeah. Ah. So yeah, that's, you can see that the tiles don't line up. So this is a good um, opportunity, we're steaming up in here, look. Good opportunity for us to lift the manhole, check that there's no more build up over, I mean, it wasn't very busy last night, but a night's worth of uh, customers and then also spin the manhole around. Right. Right. Look at these toilet seats and all. Some fucking fat asses on these. I keep moving them. Ah. Oh, yeah. Go and get a wedge. Oh, yeah. Let's try again. We seem to have a chicken and mushroom pot noodle fan club on the start. I don't mind being chairman of that one, boys and girls. So today, one of the jobs that I've started is project organize the shit show. Because it is a mess in here, let's face it. And I don't know if you noticed on yesterday's vlog, I find it so difficult to concentrate and plan the day when I'm surrounded by mess. I don't know if that's OCD or whatever, it's just organizational in the old brain. And uh, if it's a mess in there, or out here, it's a mess in there. So it's difficult for me to prioritize tasks. So what I've done is uh, I've actually put those chairs that we've got on Facebook, see if we can sell them via the marketplace. I bought too many of them, they won't fit in our pub. And putting them into storage if we get another pub at all, you know, it's a long way away. And I could do without taking them upstairs because they weigh about 30 kilos each. And they're bulky. 
So they're on a pallet, hopefully they'll go in a week or so. I'm gonna leave them downstairs until they do. And then I'm pulling out all of the other pallets that we've got, organize them. I've got some more of the timber that I fetched from uh, over New to Homebrew Tom's Way. I'd like to make a start on the benches outdoors. I've also got to break down a lot of the pallet wood that came with them because the timber's, uh, well, it's far too good to be on a pallet, frankly. And uh, then I need to organize all my casks. I think I've got Sam working with me tomorrow so we can do some cask washing. I'll set him on with that. And uh, whilst I give him the talk through on how to do it, I maybe we'll turn the camera on. I think you might have seen it before, but for those who are new to the channel, We'll give you a quick rundown on how to clean empty casks and empty kegs. Or at least how I do. Every brewery seems to have its own technique. But this one works for us. And then uh, hopefully I will also be able to move maybe the IBC out of that corner. That's what I'm thinking. And have that for these new fermenters. That means I have to find somewhere new for the IBC to live. Uh, the IBC is the International Bulk Container, basically it's my cold liquor tank. And if I move that somewhere else, then frankly I'm going to have to uh, make sure it's accessible because when I do the flushing of the tanks, i.e. Uh, after caustic and before paracetic acid, so after washing and before sanitising, you have to flush, rinse essentially, all of the caustic out because you're moving from a uh, a base to an acid, you know, an alkaline to an acid, and you've got to get rid of it so it doesn't neutralize your sanitation process. So that's an important and integral part of the of the kit, the quit. It's an integral part of the quit. So uh, that needs to go somewhere that's quite accessible because I need to just connect like a, a hose to it to feed to supply the pump every now and then. Uh, but Yes, you can see already as I'm beginning to organise the place, ideas are developing. That's what I like to see. And I also want to start making some more chairs and shelving for the pub and in here. The chairs are going to be the metal framed stools, but I want to put someone up with backs and uh, shelving in here for obviously storage. Uh, yes, I'm going to get on with it. After I've eaten my chicken and uh, mushroom pot canudel. Oh, so sexy. So, I got this door behind me, and uh, what I've been doing is taking all the furniture off them, so these doors will sit flat, and if I ever want to change any doors out in the pub or anything, I've got this pile of second-hand reclaimed doors that I can sort of delve into. So I pulled the furniture off this door, and I noticed that it's clad by a piece of MDF. I pull the MDF off, and look what I get behind proper solid panel door. So I think I'm gonna record this before I pull the whole panel off. And then just as I pull the panel off, I now understand why they clad the door without changing it completely. It looks like somebody had a vicious dog that didn't wanna stay maybe in a kitchen or a room. Look at this. So it's absolutely torn 10 bells out of the corner of that door to get through. Here's Johnny. So that one is going in the skip pile, without a doubt. So this is the timber that I was talking about that once upon a time would have been a pallet. Now look how thick this is. It's far too thick to throw away or use as a pallet, so I'm going to lay it all down. I'm going to knock the nails out of it and uh, not sure what I'm going to use it for 
but it'll certainly come in handy for a project of some type in the future. <laughs> timber cut up and put away all I have to do now is give Gemma a ring and hopefully she'll pick me up and take me home for some nice tasty tea we've got Smiler in Smiler. Smiler's in the house so yeah she's here to pick me up uh, I'm really quite impressed actually with today's organization still a few bits to go upstairs into the big stock room at the back uh, but they can be taken up as and when I go up the steps. But you can see how organised it all looks. All the timber that I've sort of sorted out is down there. And then this is kind of a, a quick peek as to what the final uh, brewery layout with the new tanks is going to look like in the new year. So I'm hoping to move my gangway, if you like, to the middle so we'll have a space that side of the tanks so we'll be able to access all of the valves on that side and then a space this side for all of the valves this side and you'll walk straight down the middle of them and it'll be like a cathedral of steel hey i'm nicking a quote there from thornbridge brewery because they've got one if you've ever been into their new place well that's me done for the day i'm going to wrap up now I am going to go home and give Gemma the time of her life. That's right, I'm going to let her watch me edit the video. Yes. Freaking right, we're dead. See you tomorrow. <laughs>